morning, good morning my friends. Welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. I'm Stacey if this is the first time we're meeting. Right, I've got up nice and early. The sun is streaming into my kitchen and um, as promised for Tonya, I'm going to take you on a shopping trip with me. Um, I've tried to do this several times but I always chicken out about talking on camera in public so I thought if I go nice and early there'll be less people around. Well, that's the idea anyway. So I might try and take a few shots while driving as well and um, I have a budget of $240. Today is the 19th of March and um, that's what I've got left for the rest of the month. Um, I haven't spent the other $240 for the first half of the month but that's what I've got left in my budget. Um, it's been a bit of a tight month so... Um, what I've decided to do is, because I'm not able to stock up as much as I wanted to, is I've got my freezer here and I've also got another fridge in the dining room just over here. This house is so tiny, like it's just, I could practically touch it. So there's another fridge freezer there and that's full and that's full. I need to use the stuff up. So to help supplement um, my budget for the rest of the month, I'm going to try and, well there's my my um, planner, um, I'm going to try and use what I've got up in these two freezers and let's see if we can, um, you know, use them down. Use them down? You know what I'm saying, right? It's early. Um, and I, I think I might try and um, film a couple of the, you know, dinners and say, okay, this is what I'm, I'm making with it. Um, and then we'll have a look at the end of the month and see if I manage to clear them out a bit because I uh, want to reorganise them and I want to um, do some more freezer meals and I will look at doing that at the start of April because um, I'm hoping to go away for for a week in the school holidays to go and visit um, some of my grandchildren and um, my, my bestie, my wifey down in Wellington. So, yeah, anyway, I tend to blah blah sometimes, as plenty of people tell me in the comments. Um, so, yeah, let's go for a, a road trip and um, go and get some fruit and vegetables and a couple of staples. Like, I'm out of flour, basically. I've only got a tiny bit left in my jar there. So I know for a fact that I've got to pick up um, um, <laughs> flour. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll see what I can get done. All right, <clears throat> this seems very, very weird <laughs> talking to the camera out in public. Um, but I'm going to go into my local, um, well, one of my local fruit and veggie shops and just ask for permission if I can um, film in there. And then, um, yeah, hopefully I can show you a little bit what a Kiwi fruit and veggie shop looks like. So out the front here there's some apples and some beautiful pears, some um, kumara, a sweet potato and some onions. So yeah, there's $15 for 10 kilo onions. Um, and then over here we've got some beautiful crown pumpkin for $7 each. Now um, they were $3 at Pick and Save a wee while ago. But they were tiny, teeny, and these are massive, massive, huge pumpkins. But over there we've got gala apples for one ninety nine a kilo. So I'm going to grab some of them. So I'm having to do a voiceover now because after filming, well about halfway through doing this, I realised they had the music playing. So you're going to have to put up with me voice recording. <laughs> so I'm just looking through all the um, different fruits and um, they've got this bag fruit, apricots and some plums and some nectarines for $3.99 a bag, which isn't too bad. 
and then some more nectarines, some peaches, these beautiful golden peaches. Um, I think that was $6.99 and some more apricots and plums. Um, and then I was just pointing out that you can buy a lot of um, grocery type items in this veggie shop, which is great when you're doing a no supermarket challenge. You'll pay a little bit more, but still pretty good. Then I noticed that their pineapples were $4.99, a um, little more than what I normally pay, but they were beautiful looking um, pineapples, and so I grabbed one of those. The Fijoas are just starting to come into season, although they were $11.99 at the moment. And then um, these beautiful red um, kiwi fruit were down below the blueberries and the grapes pointing out some strawberries for $4.99 and I needed a lemon for making a batch of golden syrup. The cauliflower, beautiful as it was, was $6.90 and the broccoli was $4.50 each. So they're out of season at the moment so they're a little bit too expensive. And then just um, showing you some of the other produce, produce and um, I don't need any carrots at the moment. Some beautiful beetroot, some parsnips, some coriander, and then I was saying, look at this beautiful celery. Um, I got an iceberg lettuce for three dollars fifty. So I always like to try and pick the best one. Um, so I grabbed that, and then I noticed that the red cabbage were four fifty each. So I grabbed that huge cannonball cabbage there because. That is a really, really good price um, for red cabbage. It's quite often about $8. And uh, I need to make some more Depression Era salad. So the normal green cabbage was $3.99. And then I decided to get um, a cost lettuce because I wanted to make a chicken Caesar salad for my dinner one day this week. Now we're heading over to the uh, potato section and I'm just having a quick look um, at what's on offer and these little one kilo box of the gourmet petites were $4.99. I was tempted but then I was like no I am on a budget this week um, so I grabbed the 10 kilo Moonlight for $13.99 I think it was which is a really good price. Um, I just love this fruit and veggie shop. It's just full of such good produce. I grab um, some of these washed potatoes. I grab some of the bigger ones because I'm going to make um, stuffed potatoes. And then I was looking at the US oranges for $6.99. They looked absolutely beautiful, but out of season for us for the moment. Um, I grabbed some cherry tomatoes I think they were around four dollars oh there you go 350 and I also grabbed a cucumber for I think that was two dollars fifty um they're the telegraph cucumbers um to make that depression era salad oh, I was pointing out the lasagna I get these um so many sheets for 5.99 I've still got some in my pantry but that's where I buy my lasagna sheets now um, Kumara price is $5.99 which is really good for, for um, at the moment and then um, the red uh, that was the red and then this is the orange $6.99 some of the cut pumpkin more of those lovely pumpkins and I grabbed a couple of uh, red onions for the depression era salad that I'm going to make up we absolutely love 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 that salad Everybody was hoeing into it. They also have dairy here, which is great. And it's good to see I can get the big two litre cream if I need it from here. An assortment of drinks. And they've even got a frozen section. Um, so, yeah, a lot of great groceries items um, for, for good prices. I went back around and I found the leeks. They were only $2 each. So I was like, definitely grab a couple of leeks because... That's a great price. 
Okay, so I'm at Fruit King Mirawa here. Um, open seven days a week and they have a fantastic shop. So um, show them some support if you're local to Hamilton as the shop is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I've just left the veggie shop and I've come into Hamilton itself and um, I have come to Cooplands, which is a factory um, factory shop for um, Cooplands is um, a brand of bread that we have up here. So I like to shop here to get um, extremely fresh bread and it's a really, really good price um, because I like to have some bread in the freezer for those times that I'm not making our bread. Um, I prefer to have... Um, shop brought bread for making things like toaster sandwiches although I haven't actually made a toaster sandwich with homemade bread and I reckon it, it probably would be actually really nice so there's something that I really have to try um, I've got um, a loaf in the freezer but um, yeah I haven't made any fresh bread for a, a little bit been so busy the last couple of weeks so I'm just going to grab some bread in here and have a look and see if they've got anything on special that we might have like I'm going away for a couple of days so I might grab um, a mince and cheese pie or a steak and cheese pie for husband so he's got something easy to make uh, for one of the dinners um, and yeah I'll see what I can come up with here next stop will be I've got to go to a chemist and then um, after that I need to go to pardon me got the hiccups after that I need to oh sorry I need to go to uh, Gilmore's and as I said um, I need a big bag of flour so um, I spent $72 at the fruit and veggie shop what you didn't see me get also was a tray of eggs because my girls are um, have gone off the lay. I've got one chicken that's laying um, because they're going through their molt and it's their season to sort of um, have a break, a well-deserved break. So um, I bought a tray of eggs for $13.99. They did have a jumbo tray for $12.99 but for the extra dollar I got more eggs for the smaller size rather than the jumbo. Um, yeah, so whatever I spend here, I'll figure out how much I've got left in my 240 budget. And the reason why I um, waited till last to do the girl mores instead of doing it first is because, um, you know, I then know how much I've got left so um, I can buy a few extra bits and pieces to help get me through um, at girl mores. Um, yeah, normally I go a different way to town. Um, but today I just needed to do these shops so yeah I could have gone to Binnan and stocked up on a few bits and pieces as well but anyway enough gabbing from me um, I have to wear glasses to drive so that's why they're on I uh, won't bring you in here because I'm protecting people's privacy and um, it's a, a small shop so I will see you back in a minute okay so I spent um, 20, 27 at the um, Copeland's Bakers and I spent 72 30 at the fruit and veggie shop so that's just under $100 so that means I've got $140 to spend in Gilmore's um, but what I have to factor in is that um, GST is part of it as well so whatever the price is I've got to add GST which over here in New Zealand if you're from overseas is 15% extra tax um, it's, it stands for goods and services tax which we have to pay for over here so um, I need to factor that into whatever I spend so I'll probably aim to spend about 100, 110 and then the tax will go on top of that so I may have a little bit left over um, if I was onto it I'd be able to work out the text while I was going around but um, I'm not sure if my brain will compute that at the moment um, so yeah um, it, the car park's quite full and the day has got away on me and it's not quite as early as I wished that I could be here 
um, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to film because I don't want to get other people in, in the way and plus you know I'm kind of embarrassed to take a camera out um, so anyway I will try and get as much um, footage as I can and um, and we'll go from there all right I'll see you in there having to do clang 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 that's me doing the voiceover <laughs> very loud music in this in this place so <laughs> anyway here's some flour 23.99 for a 20 kilo bag just remembering that we have tax on top of that as well so i grabbed the premium flour and um i chuck oh apparently i chuck you in my handbag while i go and grab that <laughs> flour so there it is down the bottom there and um, we've got some, there's the big bags of pasta that I buy. It's gone up to $17.44. When I brought them, I'm pretty sure I paid $14 for them. So it's gone up three bucks since December. And then just showing you some of the shelves. It's the mustard and the sauces and the mayos. Big huge buckets of mayo. Um, catering sizes. Everything massive big um, rice and then I came back into the bread um, the flour section because the government has mandated that they put folic acid into our flour so I was trying to find flour without folic acid and then I was just showing you the lemon concentrates and whatnot on that side is all the other baking products and and things and I found my flaky sea salt that I needed that was 11.83 for 500 grams and then yeah this is where I buy all my herbs and spices so they're really big bags really good prices and um, they last me ages too and these are some pre-mixes so like you can get all sorts of things like muffins and lamington mixes and then we're down at the freezer section we're just looking at the angel bay um, beef patties and um uh what do you uh meatballs and stuff like that they're all good too and um this freezer is a little empty but then we get into some lamb chops and then some pork it was very very busy in here so i didn't get a lot of footage um, these roasts were good. It was like 30 something dollars for that huge roast. Um, and then um, they've just got these new freezers up here full of all sorts of veggies. So they were looking really nice. Um, there used to be just the one fridge. And then into the um, chilled section, whereas all the cheeses, um, all the hams and deli meats. All that type of thing. Um, this is where I buy my cream usually. Um, I decided I would grab a sour cream. I haven't found a recipe that I like for my own sour cream. And this is the salami that I get in those big packets. So that's the bacon and ham. And then just some of the veggies, the bulk veggies that they've got. And then I spy right down the bottom here. $3.99 for pineapple so I grabbed three of those and then they've got the yogurt section hummuses and then into the sausages pre-cooked sausages and stuff like that and I decided to grab some right I filmed a little bit in there um, but what I've come to realize that is that all the stores have music going on them and so now I'm gonna have to what's the word um, um, <laughs> I can't even think um, do voiceovers for um, while I was in there so yeah I got a little bit of footage and I spent 120 121 so it was 105 77 and then added 15.87 for GST so 121.64 um, so I'll show you it um, once we get home what I ended up getting today anyway so now um, a long drive home and um, yeah talk to you again when we get home 
Hello, we are back home. It's roughly about 1.30 now. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what we ended up getting. Um, I think I told you all the prices. I'm pretty sure I told you all the prices. So I've come under budget, which is great. I've roughly got about $20 left. But um, I slightly overspent in the last in the first two months of the year. So March has been a good month for me to um, pay back some of that money because I I think I only went um, to the fruit and veggie shop once at the start of March and I haven't been to Gilmore. So um, I, I would have easily saved probably about $140 there too. So I've got to sit down. I've, I'm keeping a track of all my... Um, all my um, spending and because um, as you know I'm trying to um, t stick to a under $5,000 budget this year so anyway I'm going to turn you around and show you what I've got so we ended up grabbing this massive I don't know if you can see how big this is it's it's huge and it's very very tight so um, depression era salad here we come I ended up buying a $5 um, pineapple there and a lettuce, 10 kilos of potatoes. We've got oh, those, um, the white washed potatoes that I'm going to turn into um, baked potatoes one night. And here we've got some, some apples, some tomatoes. I've got some big tomatoes already. I brought a cost lettuce so that I could make chicken Caesar salad one, one day. A couple of beautiful leeks. Another cucumber because I still have some left from last time. Some beautiful red kiwi fruit, which I had for the first time last week at um, the catering job that I did. And it is so delicious and it looks beautiful. So I grabbed that and um, some green onions. Um, and... I also grabbed a tray of size 6 eggs, so they were $13.99, so $14. Um, from Gilmore's, I ended up getting um, my usual premium flour. It's 20 kilos. Very sad to see that they've added the folic acid to this. So the government has now mandated that um, they put folic acid in our flour, which I'm not happy about. Um, because it's not the natural one, it's the synthetic one, and um, don't even get me started. So I'm not, I'm not even going to go into it. But I need to find another source of flour. And I bought a sour cream. So this is a kilo of sour cream. This is my favourite sour cream. I have been trying to make my own. I haven't found a recipe that I'm happy with yet. So I grabbed one of those, and this will last for quite a few months. I did grab a mince and cheese pie from the baking uh, baker shop, um, so that was $8.99 I think, so that's just an easy dinner for my husband to make while I'm away for a couple of days. I also grabbed some saveloys as well because he likes those and that's another easy dinner. Um, Gilmore's had $3.59 for um, uh, pineapple. So I grabbed some more because, of course, I want to um, show you how you can um, can your own pineapple without any special equipment. And I also grabbed some bananas from Gilmore's. I grabbed this huge um, three kilo of mandarin segments. I used to buy the small cans at the supermarket, but of course I'm not shopping there. So I grabbed that. I quite like mandarins and I'll just open it up and we'll eat on it for a while. Um, I grabbed some more flaky sea salt because I am out and I grabbed some more baking powder because I'm out as well and I grabbed a milk. So I'll show you the bread. Okay from Copeland's I ended up getting a pack of um, rolls because I think I have some um, frankfurters in one of my kitchen freezers. And so we can make either hot dogs or I can make those subs that I've made before that you've seen. And then I just grabbed um, a couple of um, multi-grain toast, a couple of thin toast and a couple of the thick toast. So I grabbed one, two, three, four, five, six loaves of the bread. And these are $1.69 each. 
So that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me today and hopefully I will be able to show you some of um, the meals that I'm making over the next couple of weeks before we hit April. Um, aside from that I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you're keeping well and as always I really appreciate your support and watching. If you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing because that helps my channel to grow and it lets YouTube know that you're interested in my content and um, I hope to see you on the next one. All right, take care for now. All right, bye.